Alright, this looks like a good spot to, to relax. Alright. Whew. It heats up in this car quick, goodness. Even though it's cold outside, man, you get in this car, it heat up real quick on you. <laughs> they call it said I always scratch in my bed. <laughs> That's funny. Especially when it gets scruffy like this, forget it. Forget about it. It's terrible. Terrible. Anybody with a real beard, they know they know my um they know my issue. When your hair starts growing back in, the, is the I don't know what it is. It's just the itch. The itch is real. <laughs> so what's happening with y'all, man? How the market was looking today to you guys? When I had went on originally, um, on the first live, when I was on Facebook, market actually had looked pretty good to me at that time. But I wasn't able to stay on long enough to um, to continue observing. And I saw someone in the group actually, I think that they said that they took a trade and they did not have MRMH at the time. They just took one. But, um, you know, everybody kind of rallied together to, to let them know not to do that. So that was good. I like that. I definitely like that. Cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, market was looking crazy to you. Is it me or there's like some type of effect on this thing? It's like lights, right? Y'all see that? Or am I just seeing that? Oh, it's Frederick. That's right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Frederick was on there. So he ended up taking a trade and, um, I believe that you guys were able to help rectify that because that's the one thing that is a very difficult habit to break. Once you get into that, that, that move where you start exercising bad habits, it is so difficult to break. Like the bad habits are, are hard to break. That's why we don't create them in the first place at all. Oh, it looks like rave, huh? <laughs> he said he took it at two minutes. What? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I was just about to say, Jay Carly must have not been around at the time. She probably just wasn't around to, um, to, to get in on that one. But yeah, that's definitely a no-no. Oh, she gotta leave now. Busy, busy, goodness. Yeah, that's why that that's why she didn't say nothing earlier, because she probably was busy at that time. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, so um but yeah, I, I'm glad that he said something though. I'm glad that he said something. I was talking about that on training um the other day, the other night rather. Of the night, you know, speaking up when you're doing stuff. Don't just be in the market and, and just doing stuff. I'm I I'm actually glad when you guys get excited about something that you do that you shouldn't be doing, because the excitement is gonna make you tell what you're doing. And then when you talk in the group chat about what you're doing, and you know we can offer not even advice, but just offer direction and guidance. To let you know, you know, what you should not be doing. Under under any circumstance, some things you should never be doing. Like they're not even mistakes, they're just straight bad habits that you'll create that you gotta put so much work and effort into to, you know, breaking after you've created them. So Damien said, let him practice. I did. Got slapped and stopped. 
<laughs> yeah, because it's, I mean, it's easy to, to, you know, like to charge it to, well, I'm practicing. And it's like, well, what are you practicing though? You know what I mean? Practice doesn't mean to just do whatever you want to do on the demo account. That, that's not what it is. Practice means to watch the market and not trade. Watch the market, not trade. Bensky, what's up, man? Yes, yes. Yeah, practice means to observe. Running the play-by-play -play is practice. Knowing how to recognize, you know, the environment. That's practice. Taking trades and compromising the parameters, that's not practice. Taking trades early, that's not practice. Like the, you know, and I and I'm I'm calling them out because the, I know that this is stuff that people do. Terrible habits to create, man. Terrible habits. And you'll start doing that stuff. You know, it'll it'll be second nature. Then, then when you realize it's, it's nothing that you should have been doing in the first place, now you got to break it. Now you have a hard time breaking it. So that loop, you don't want to get caught up in there. Right, you have to get slapped in. Yeah, some people have to feel the pain. It's so, it's so funny. It is so funny that some people have to go through it in order to get it. I would rather you not go through the pain. I would rather you just listen to us. Damn, you're talking about we need pain sometimes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I don't want to feel no pain. I don't know about you. I don't want to feel nothing. Just like when you go to the dentist. Go to the dentist and let them drill in your tooth. You know, you got a cavity or whatever. Let them drill in your tooth and not give you that, that whatever that stuff is, Novocaine or whatever it is. Let them not numb you up and drill in your tooth. And you, then, you, then you tell me if you want to feel some pain. <laughs> let them do that. Let them do that. You, you, I guarantee you, you ain't going to want to feel that pain. Who's that? Ava Retnick, what's happening? DQ, DQ, that is practice. Absolutely. Damien said, I already cried, kick, punch, tried to jump off the second floor. <laughs> He's all good now. <laughs> yep. Yes, indeedy. You have no idea how this thing came on with these lights. I must have touched something when I when I came on the live. I don't know what that is. <laughs> he said, oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. This is good. I switched it up. I got the French vanilla. This is good today. Who's that? Jelani. Jelani, what up? Yeah, still waiting for the MRMH. Yeah, what time is it now? Five o'clock? Yeah, the market closed now, right? So we'll see what comes about. I usually come back on the charts like around 6.30, between 6.30 and 6.45. I like to give it that extra time. How many trades I took this week? Um... Did I trade this week? What's today? Today's Thursday? No, I did trade this week, right? Yeah, the day with, with the clusters. That was the day I took two. Um, I think I might have taken another one. Seemed like I took three altogether. Seemed like I took three altogether. I want to say three, but I, it could be just two. I don't even remember, to be honest with you.
It might be two because I only remember making one withdrawal. It might it might be two. It might have been two trades. I think so because I I don't remember making another withdrawal after that. And I, I usually withdraw when I make money. I withdraw. And I'm at that point, you know. That's probably what I talk about on training. Um, you know, the importance of the spreadsheet and really building. You know, you're gonna you're you're you we are all moving through the phases of what we are ultimately going to arrive at. You know, your end goal could be X amount of contracts and just being in position, you know, to only have to trade couple of times a week and you making full-time income like that's what the spreadsheet is really designed to put you in position to do so when you look at the spreadsheet don't think in terms of how long and, and time like even now when we gauge our time what i like to do is i like to go back and look at the last like four weeks the previous four weeks and then i look and see well let me see how many trades I actually took during this time. And then when I look at it, when I average it out, I ended up taking on average like two to three trades every week. Even though it may not have panned out like that each time. You know what I'm saying? Like the way that that breaks down one week, you might get no trades. Another week, you'll get three. Another week, you might get five. Another week, you get one or two. So it's the average. It's the average. And if you if you're averaging, you know, over time, two to three trades every week, you're doing remarkable and you're going to get to that point because that's what the market does. The market doesn't give it to you when you want it, but it gives it to you. You, you understand the point I'm making? Like it gives it to you. So you, so don't worry about if the market is going to give you trades. It is. Your job really is to just continuously always be in position to observe. And when the time comes, you're ready to execute. Like just always be in position to do it. So this way, you're always in position and you're always ready when it comes. Versus hoping that something happens or I didn't get any trades this week. There are no trades, yada, yada, yada. Take advantage and learn to be glad when there haven't been trades. And you know why there haven't been trades. There's more value in that than there is in you taking trades. Does that make sense? There's way more value with you knowing why the market has not presented you with opportunities for yourself and staying out of the market versus trying to force your way into a market that's not letting you into it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, in other words, if the market is not giving you money, don't try to take it from the market. Market don't like that. You try to take money from the market, you get took. <laughs> I think I said that on training yesterday. You don't want to get took. So just relax. Hashtag relax. You do that, you're going to win. You're going to win now and you're going to win later. You're going to win long term, period. Period. Yep. <laughs> Jay Carter said she can't hear. She's watching the comments. <laughs> Somebody type nine 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 nine. <laughs> Let her read that. <laughs> Damien said, I never, I've never experienced MRMH with all the parameters in place and every flow so smooth, even price. I was so surprised. I loved the trade that I entered. It was crazy. Oh, what trade was this? You took a trade when?
And just from your description, that's I know exactly what you're talking about because that's what it that's what it's like when you when you see that. That is what it's like. It's like the market just showing you beauty, like a work of art. Yeah, when when was that, Damien? I think I think on um on the day when I had took my trade, it was um somebody else I took the the, the trade that same day. Said it was this week, but it was in another pair. What pair was it? The Aussie. And I'm not even going to beat you up about it because if you were able to observe in RMH, that's more important to me than the fact that you were looking at a different market. Because whatever market it was, maybe that's the market you should be looking at because that's where you saw it first. Like I'm just saying, you know, just saying. Oh, let me unplug this. Interesting. Euro dollar, huh? Muy interesante. Stop me in. Very interesting. So, Damien, what you might, um, what you may be able to do, I know that there are a few people in the in the group that trade the euro. When you see them, reach out to them, and um, you know, you guys see if you can do things that will help to elevate you as far as your um your precision and your timing with that market play by play play by play in the group chat is, is is the most powerful type of practice you can get <coughs> okay it was tuesday a day off so now that i witnessed it i can tell you that it was pretty good i love that i didn't force anything smooth so did you take did you take the MRMH or you took a trade after the MRMH? Yes, definitely life changing. Everything we doing here is is life changing. It's it's crazy. And it's like it's it's inevitable. Like you can't even stop it if you want to. You can't stop it. If you if you stay in training, is there's no way that you're not going to be ultimately a successful trader. It's impossible. Like I know I keep saying that, but that's that's the truth, man. That is the truth. It's not possible. All right, let me get off of this. I'll talk to y'all soon. See y'all in a minute. Training. <laughs>